Hi there, and welcome to this lesson on Pure Mathematics 4. In this lesson, we're on Chapter 5, 5.1, and Parametric Differentiation. Now, in a previous lesson, we learned how you can write an equation parametrically by introducing a third variable, which is frequently t, but could be any letter, and then writing x and y as functions of t, giving x is a function of t and y is a function of t. Now, it is possible to differentiate this function by converting it back into Cartesian form, but it isn't necessary to do that. You can differentiate it, find dy by dx, by using the chain rule. And the way we do that is we say dy by dx is equal to dy by, d, by dt divided by dx by dt. And in practice, this is very straightforward. So you have these two functions of t, uh, you'll differentiate y with respect to t, you'll differentiate x with respect to t, divide one by the other, and that'll give you dy by dx as a function of t. Okay, I'll let you have a go at seeing what this means in practice. So example one for the parametric equation, x equals t cubed plus t, and y equals 2t squared plus 1. First of all, find dy by dx in terms of t, then find the gradient of the curve where t equals 2, and finally, find the equation of the tangent to the curve at t equals 2. Okay, I'll let you have a go at working your way through all of that yourself. So pause the video, have a go, and then come back to me when you're ready. Okay, let's have a look at this. So first of all, we're just going to find dy by dx using this, dy by, by dt divided by dx by dt. Now, x is equal to t cubed plus t, which means dx by dt equals 3t squared plus 1. y is equal to 2t squared plus 1, which means dy by dt is equal to 4t. And then we just divide dy by dt by dx by dt. And that gives us 4t over 3t squared plus 1. Secondly, we have to find the gradient of the curve where t equals 2. Well, the gradient is dy by dx, and we've just found out that that equals this. All we have to do is substitute t equals 2 into that. And that gives us 8 over 12 plus 1, which is 8 over 13. So that's the gradient of the curve where t equals 2. And finally, we were asked to find the equation of the tangent to the curve at the same point. Well, the equation of the tangent is y equals mx plus c. m is the gradient of the curve at that point. Well, we've just worked that out. m is 8 over 13. So that means y equals 8 over 13x plus c. The method for finding c is always the same in these questions. We need to know a point on the curve, and we need to substitute that point in. Now, the point we have to use is t equals 2, because that's where the tangent meets the curve. So substituting t equals 2 into the curve, then for the x-coordinate, that'll give us 2q plus 2, which is 8 plus 2, so x equals 10 at this point. And y is equal to 2 times 2 squared plus 1, which is 8 plus 1, which means y equals 9 at this point. So we now know the coordinates of a point on the curve. Uh, x is 10, y equals 9, and that point is also the point on the tangent, where the tangent meets the curve. So substituting 10, 9 into the equation for the line gives us y equals 8 over 13x plus c, which is 9 equals 8 over 13 times 10 plus c. Rearranging that gives us that the constant is 37 over 13, which means that the equation of the tangent must be y equals 8 over 13x plus 37 over 13, or you could tidy that up and write it as 8x minus 13y plus 37 equals 0. If you're asked for one form or another in the question, you need to provide it. Otherwise, you can choose which form you write down. Okay, example two. For the curve given by x equals sine 2t and y equals t cos t plus 2 sine t, find the equation of the normal to that curve at the point where t is equal to pi radians. Well, the equation of the normal is y equals mx plus c. Uh, you'll find the gradient, just like we did in the last question, and you find the value of c 
in exactly the same method. You, you find the value of uh, x and y for the point where the tangent touches the curve. Okay, I'll let you have a go at working your way through that yourself. So pause the video, have a go, and then come back to me when you're ready. Okay, let's have a look. So first of all, we're gonna have to find dy by dx. Uh, X is equal to sine 2t, which means dx by dt is equal to 2 cos 2t. Y is equal to t cos t plus 2 sine t, which means dy by dt is equal to cos t minus t sine t, using the product rule on that term, plus 2 cos t. And then dy by dx is the one thing divided by the other, which gives us that. So that's what we've done so far. Now we want to find what the gradient is uh, at the point where t is equal to pi radians. So substituting t equals pi into that would give us all of this. And that simplifies to minus 1 minus 0 minus 2 divided by 2, which gives us minus 3 over 2 for the gradient of the tangent at that point. Now, the gradient of the tangent is minus 3 over 2, but we have been asked to find the equation of the normal to the curve. So the gradient of the normal will be minus 1 divided by that which gives us two thirds for the gradient of the normal. So we can now say that the gradient of the normal is y equals two thirds x plus c. And as normal, to find c, we need to know a point on the curve, which is also on the tangent, and substitute that into the equation. So putting t equals pi into the curve uh, gives us uh, x equals sine two pi, and y equals pi cos pi plus two sine pi. And those simplify to x equals 0, and y equals minus pi plus 0, which means x is 0 and y is minus pi. And those are the coordinates of the point where the tangent, or the normal, uh, touches the curve. Substituting those into the equation of the straight line gives us minus pi equals 2 thirds times by 0 plus c. And rearranging that allows us to find c which is minus pi. So we can now say that the equation of the normal at t equals pi is y equals 2 thirds x take away pi. Okay, that gets us to the end of this lesson. If you've got the textbook, then turn to page 52 and have a go at exercise 5a. Thanks very much for listening and cheerio.